Could eating beetroots be a viable strategy to increase testosterone levels in humans? That is what we'll uncover in today's video. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. And if you've been enjoying these videos, please hit subscribe and please like the video as it does help the YouTube algorithm. So what is betaine or trimethylglycine? Well, betaine is an amino acid osmolite that is formed in the body from choline and has a positive effect on bodily functions, specifically cell hydration, and is highly effective at decreasing inflammation and oxidative stress. Both are very important when it comes to performance and recovery. It was originally called betaine as it was first isolated from sugar beets in the 19th century and is now found in many foods such as beetroot itself, spinach, quinoa, wheat, and ancient grains. Now, betaine more recently has been referred to as trimethylglycine or TMG as it has three methyl groups attached to each molecule of glycine. Now, because of this, it has been shown to be an important cofactor in methylation, a process that aids in many cellular processes in the body, such as protecting cells, proteins, and enzymes from environmental stresses such as dehydration, high body temperatures, and low high sodium levels. So trimethylglycine is actually a supplement that is found in various supplement stores. And since the year 2000, there's been an increasing amount of studies that suggest that supplementation with betaine or trimethylglycine may actually assist with improving body composition, improving strength and power performance, promoting anabolism and protein synthesis, increasing muscular endurance, lowering homocysteine levels to improve heart health and also brain health, lowering insulin resistance, and improving insulin sensitivity. Now, some of the other benefits of betaine include that it also has been shown to lower homocysteine levels, which is incredibly dangerous if elevated and thereby improving heart health. But since then, it's also been shown to help support other organs in the body, including the liver, kidney, and pancreas. Betaine has also been shown to reduce oxidative stress, endoplasmic reticulum stress, and inflammation. Betaine has also been shown to improve methylation and increase SAME or SAME, S-adenosyl methionine, which can lead to supporting mental health. And betaine has also been shown to increase cognitive function and general well-being. Since betaine is an osmolar and improves cell hydration, it works synergistically with other supplements such as creatine. Hey guys, if you're watching this video right now and want to unlock your full mental and physical potential, then the Limitless course is for you. Unlock my best biohacks for energy, motivation, and testosterone optimization so that you can conquer your goals with ease and crush every day with confidence. Click the link in the description and get it now for only $27 today. All right, now let's get straight back into the video. Now, here's the study that I really want to focus in on. The study was titled, Effects of Short-Term Betaine Supplementation on muscle endurance and indices of endocrine function following acute high intensity resistance exercise in young athletes. Now this study was received in October, 2021 and accepted the 2nd of February, 2022. Now sports scientists at the University of Guilan in, in Iran got young male handball players to take a dose of 1.25 grams of betaine twice a day for 14 days. The athletes therefore consumed 2.5 grams of betaine per day. Now on the last day of the supplementation period, the researchers got the athletes to do bench presses and leg presses. Now the researchers measured the amount of testosterone and cortisol circulating in the subjects' blood just before the supplementation period began. Now they repeated this measurement on the last day of the supplementation period, once just before the subjects started training and once afterwards. On another occasion, the researchers repeated the procedure, then the athletes took a placebo, and the results were quite astonishing. Betaine supplementation increased the concentration of testosterone and decreased the concentration of cortisol. Now, this hormonal shift could potentially mean that the hormonal balance is better suited to build muscle and also drop body fat. Now, another interesting additional finding within the study was that there was significant correlations between 
anaerobic power output and blood plasma lactate, which has also been reported in multiple studies. However, despite performing significantly more work, post-exercise plasma lactate was significantly less with betaine supplementation in the present study. And the authors noted that similar to these results, another study reported significantly greater repetitions and a non-significant trend for lower post-exercise lactate following 10 sets of bench press to failure with betaine supplementation. And other studies both reported greater work without greater lactate concentrations following betaine supplementation. So the question is, should we supplement with betaine or can we get it from food? Well, ultimately that depends upon your individual circumstances. And yes, whilst betaine supplementation is certainly very cheap and supplemental form can be utilized if you struggle digesting food such as beetroot, spinach, or wheat germ, that is when supplementation may be more advantageous over consuming betaine-rich foods. Now, just also remember that Mother Nature packs many different constituents and peptides found within foods that may actually facilitate a synergistic effect and actually may potentiate the effects of trimethylglycine. Um, so there's always going to be a trade-off between Mother Nature and the pharmaceutical approach of pure isolation of these chemical compounds. So if you're interested in purchasing betaine, I will leave a link down below in supplemental form and there will be a discount code if you do want to experiment and utilize betaine and or trimethylglycine as part of your supplement regime. And for those of you who want to know my most potent testosterone boosting strategies and supplements, do check out the Limitless course. I go through a specific module that covers testosterone optimization. Um, so be sure to check that out. That will be linked down below in the video description. Otherwise, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.